God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Uh... You're not a ghoul? Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Uh, your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. God, this guy is like pure autism. Go bother Jason, smooth. I'll be going. Stay I don't think I need any of that. Am I up to 50 yet? Weapon repair kit. Um. Nope, I am 10 away. Cool. Guys, have anything? Uh, Repcon facility? We don't want to go outside. This is where you guys sleep. But this is considered stealing. I imagine everything else is considered stealing as well. Bright follower, how are you doing? Interesting stuff going on. Got a door. Bunch of stuff that's sealing. Stealing, not sealing. That Habersham? Crazy. Who'd want to be a ghoul? Shut up, Willow. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Um... Let me see. What's the deal with the human who let me in? Um, who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Gotcha. Um, it didn't say anything about demons. I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. Uh, your last name is Bright. That's funny. Don't do that. What's the great journey? Uh... We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. Gotcha. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Now he mentioned the demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. Oh, yeah? The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. Gotcha. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Gotcha. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Uh, you said one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. They ended up pulling out glow Threats sticks and shaking what their mama gave them. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. Ah. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Eh, I'll see what I could do. Do you have any pamphlets? I could probably drive them away that way. Um, I'll take care of them. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. Hopefully. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Hard cut to the uh, guys, the nightkin downstairs. Next. This place is crazy. They're playing D&D. So we've seen a ghoul and a wig. Yeah. A human who's convinced he's a ghoul. Right. And now, demons. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing. Can't take that. Employee terminal, huh? Retirement. Um. 
years of dedicated service with us and get the rest of your Repcon family with all of your hard work and achieved a fraction of the success that we enjoyed today. That being said, the face of the Repcon is getting younger, and according to my records, you have been fully vested in your pension for a little more than two years. Given the recent incident, I think that this is an excellent time for you to retire gracefully. They're forcing him to retire. Is the way clear? Um... I'm here because Feral Ghouls, uh, your last name is Bright, uh, How will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. No. Oh. What's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared. And the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realize that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Yeah? What is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Uh, I'll be on my way. I ain't gonna pick on the guy. Uh, you, on the other hand, I am going to mercilessly Go bother Jason, Smoothskin. I don't like having you around. Uh, I guess I'll be going. Bright is nuts, too. <laughs> it's like we've stumbled into Crazy Town, and he's the mayor. Yeah, work on that joke. Need a better, sicker, danker meme. You're trying. I appreciate that. Do, do the companions scratch as much as Willow does? Or does Willow have some kind of... transmission of the S variety? I'm not sure. Okay, let's make a hard save. Come on. And proceed further. Okay. Dark in here. If you want to use a scope, I can spot for you. Keep you on target. Thank you. Not seeing anything. Okay, everyone watch your ass. If you see something that shimmers like gas, we got a nightkin. Shh. Something on my radar. Everyone shut up. Nothing so far. Watch it. Thought I saw something for a moment. Got nothing yet. Hello. Uh, let's get our talking stuff going. What's that, Adler? We have a visitor. Yes. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Um, I came here on behalf of the ghoul upstairs. Uh, I came here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. Not really. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. 
I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. I see. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antra brought us to get. Um. Okay. Uh. Uh, who is Antler? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Uh. Let's see. And who are you, exactly? Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison. First name... Don't remember. Davison. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was hard. The other's mind's going strange, going crazy. Is that from Fallout but 1? I found us new master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. Uh, is Antler the bronze skull? Cut it out, human. Serious final warning. <sighs> Gotta not talk about it. Um... Mm, are you all right? I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things as I, in turn, guide my kin. Uh. Uh. I wish I could say. Why can't I say the thing before? No, Antler says you are solution. Plus, can't have you skulking around me. Do as Antler says, or feel his horns. Up to you. Uh... Maybe I can help? Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a oh, long time yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Uh, why can't you... Uh, why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. Crack shot? After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along, Antler said. Uh... I'll find the stealth boy stockpile if you and your kin will leave this place. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we... Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe. All right. Okay, this one is definitely the craziest. Too bad he and Antler can't come with us. They'd be interesting travel companions. Gotcha. Ooh. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? I am Jeeb. Uh, Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, he totally good did. luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Uh, how did you end up trapped down here? Uh, you don't look like the other ghouls. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you, 
<laughs> anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Uh, how can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Okay. Um... How did you end up trapped? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Uh -huh. Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Gotcha. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find Gotta the shit others. fast. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. The end. How have you survived? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Yeah. Condensation off the pipes for water. Right. Then I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Uh. I'll find your friend for you. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Okay. Did you find my friend? Oh. I haven't found her yet. I'm not expect. Uh, see you later. Antler sings for stealth boys. Sorry, no sign for the stockpile of stealth boys yet. Keep looking. Antler wants not. All right. Well, looks like I'm going to have to find that one friend. I thought I could talk my way out of this, but looks like I'm going to have to kill some assholes. And I'm going to do it with my left hand. Seeing anything? Gotta make sure that going the right way for a smacked bottom. Found you. I have been detected. No. Swing and a miss. Eat this. It's a turkey sandwich. Yeah, I want to shoot Eddie. Good job, game. Hopefully, I ain't going to get in trouble for any of that. Let's see. Okay, that's another means to get down that way. Not seeing anything. Save it. Just in case. Got some conductors. <gasps> Pencil. <gasps> Pencil. 20 out of 50. Oh my god. We're getting pencils so quick and so fast. Not seeing anything. Getting anything over there? Oh my god, I can shoot this thing fast! Look how quickly I even uh, did it! Uh, jail key, nice. Flamer fuel, we'll take it. 
Um, oh. We'll take all of that. 